Thank you, Chip. Uh, not the prettiest of Fridays here across North Texas. This picture taken earlier this afternoon outside our Fox 4 studios here in uh, downtown Dallas. A lot of gray there. Not much to show for it in terms of rain. We saw a few sprinkles, but that was it. I think a trace officially at DFW. But despite all the clouds, temperatures have warmed into the mid-70s here late in the afternoon. 76 in Dallas and Irving, 75 in both Plano and Fort Worth. Winds continue to blow out of the south-southeast. They're at 20 miles an hour, so they have picked up at DFW. The dew point is up to 64, so the air, a lot more moisture in it this time today than this time yesterday. And uh, these higher dew points uh, may yield at least a few widely scattered showers later on tonight into early tomorrow morning. Why it's been so quiet today, and I expect it to remain quiet this evening, is the cap, that warm, stable layer of air aloft, which is preventing thunderstorms from firing up here in North Texas, but they continue to fire up to our north in Oklahoma, and some of those could affect our Red River counties by late tonight. A few Saturday morning showers in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, no severe weather, and then our attention shifts to the south tomorrow afternoon where we could see some isolated thunderstorms. Sunday looks nice with temperatures around 80 degrees. Here's a look at uh, temperatures around North Texas, 75 Irving, 76 degrees in Hazlitt, 74 in Frisco, 73 Bowie, 73 as well down to our south in Hillsboro. Here's the makings. Uh, in fact, I'm going to go back up there uh, real quickly if I can to show you the thunderstorms that are just beginning to fire up in northwestern Oklahoma. Ahead of that little complex of storms, uh, we are seeing a severe thunderstorm watch that is currently in effect uh, across uh, eastern Oklahoma, as far east as the uh, uh, Oklahoma City area. We'll go back now and we'll uh, take a look at that. Uh, the uh, severe thunderstorm watch in effect uh, through this evening uh, across much of Oklahoma. But I think most of that activity is going to remain north of the Red River as we head through this evening. And that's why the slight risk of severe weather is essentially from the Red River up north through much of Oklahoma tonight. But I've kind of drawn this area here in orange. I'm going to watch this area late tonight from roughly Gainesville eastward through the Sherman Denison area all the way to Paris, where a few of those Oklahoma storms could slip south of the Red River with some gusty winds, maybe some small hail. Our high today, 76 degrees. The pollen count taking a little jump up to 348. So I'll go ahead now and we'll time it out with Futurecast here, and I'll pause it late tonight, in fact, very late, around 3 o'clock in the morning, when there could be a few storms lumbering south of the Red River around the Sherman Denison area. Again, some gusty winds, maybe some brief heavy downpours. A few widely scattered showers possible tomorrow morning in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and then tomorrow afternoon ahead of the front as we head south of the Metroplex. Here's your seven-day forecast. 78 is tomorrow's high temperature, 81 Sunday, 80s Monday and Tuesday. Next chance of storms next Wednesday, and then we could be turning cool Thursday, Friday into next weekend.